<laughs> hey, can we shit on the Last Jedi now? Uh, if we want to start a new last, segment, yeah. I hate the Last Jedi so much. No, I'm I, I'm I, a YouTube I, reviewer. Give me eight hundred dollars on Patreon. It's <laughs> <That's laughs> really old though. Yeah, this, the movie came I out. I think what, he was like 20 he was making ago? fun of YouTubers who only talk about it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, haven't you guys <laughs> seen slow. my uh, Star Wars: Last Jedi rant and toy unboxing? <laughs> Is that a joke video? Did you really do that? Well, it's a video on my on Emperor Lime. See, yeah, I'm not subscribed to Emperor my, Lime. My alt account, Emperor Lime. Make sure you subscribe to Emperor Lime or not. Now, is that YouTube? You know, actually, no. Don't slash. don't subscribe to Emperor Lime. I, I prefer how it's like home. It's like it's got a cozy aesthetic. Mom, sure. you would know about that. How would I know about that? <laughs> There's a co- it's cozy aesthetic. What, what do I know about coziness? Do, are my channels cozy? Am yeah. I just so small that you think I'm a mom and pop shop to your <laughs> fucking Target over here? No, it's like because your videos used to be like in a dark room used to and, they be. Were, and they were cozy. But now you started filming them with all your friends. Oh, and oh yeah. Damn all it. your fucking uh, so uh, sick of this shit. Heroin addict, uh, retard <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> meth heads. What, what did the guy say? He said that you look like um, a meth addict side character, ugly side character from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. To be fair, I think he was talking about Asperger and I got lumped in. Well, he he really hates you. Did you watch his new response to me? No. What is he talking shit about me? Who's yes. This? What's in his, this guy's in, name? In his second response to me, he has a one minute segment dedicated to shitting on you. I gotta watch this. <laughs> but it's I like, would love this. Yeah. Yeah. No, I want to see this. Let me Who's tell you how he fella? fucked up. So in my video, I said like, oh, what? "Call me a mon- monkey." Like, if you want to uh, make fun of people, make fun of me. Call me a monkey. And he said, "No, that's an easy joke. Everyone makes that joke. I'm never gonna make the easy joke." And then he immediately starts comparing you to Steve Buscemi. Oh, yeah. Wow. What an original joke that nobody's wow. ever done before, you fucking <laughs> retard. Hey, Ru- hey Rusty, are, are you going to make another knife game video? Yeah. Hey, 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 more knife game. Have you ever seen Reservoir Dogs? You look like the tipping guy. No, and I, I told you about what that's like. Every time someone brings it up, they go, uh, y- you look like Steve Buscemi. Actually, you kind of sound like him. That's what Doug said. <laughs> Doug's an apple. Yeah, has anybody show. ever said that to you before? Yeah, and I said, I've heard that every single day <laughs> since I was I started ninth grade. Yeah. <laughs> which That was 32 years ago. And so, <laughs> wow. um, hey, Rusty, you look like a school shooter. And, and, they, and they go like, oh, you look like uh, Steve Buscemi. Is everyone saying? And I go, yes, the ugliest actor in Hollywood. And they go, but he's a great actor. I really, he's a great actor. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not. Yeah, I'm not a great actor. <laughs> so I'm like, like, I look like, like an ugly guy. ugly guy who's good at acting. Now, my yeah, question is. I didn't is, pull anyone out of the fucking burning building yeah, on 9-11. God damn you, so my joke. <laughs> I was going to ask if you were a firefighter on 9-11. God damn it. Yeah, no, I was I was uh, I was fucking, I was 33 at the time. Uh, <laughs> you jerked off to the footage. <laughs> he was a firefighter for Chernobyl. You were watching the Today Show and you said this is boring and you changed the channel. Yeah. It's fucking. This uh, is edited. Oh, the, once yeah. the first the, the, the first tower on? went down, it's like I'm not gonna sit here for another what hour waiting for the second one to go. I've already seen it. Is this a is this a rerun? Oh, building two yeah, got hit. So why why is building seven collapsing? It didn't even get struck by. Oh, who cares? <laughs> Boring. <laughs> we gotta get those terrorists. They have weapons of mass destruction. No, trash rat. Why did that third building that didn't get struck? Why did that collapse? So what, are, you, are, are you doing the Tower Seven bit? <laughs> no, uh, it's not a bit. They literally happened. No, I. F- I, Has I anybody explained that? I don't know. My bombs didn't go off that day. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought like you watch kids like die in minivan attacks. I thought you would like know uh, about how this shit happened. Attacks. Oh yeah, no. I, uh, <laughs> you guys, it was attacked by gravity yeah, this, and this inertia. This podcast doesn't have a clearance for that kind of information. Oh wow. Oh. It's a- Okay. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if anyone has. I think there has been a lot of explanation on Tower Seven because it, it's. Something that people instantly debunk now, but, well, like, but I haven't how? listened to it. I haven't really gone. He's like the, the first two towers collapsed. Was it like the seismic shocks? Tower, knocked tower over seven the other had like tower? a quarter of one floor on fire, and the whole thing went down. You expect me to believe but that? How did it That's start not a fire? controlled demolition. What started the fire? Uh, debris from. We didn't start the, the fire. Debris from no, the tower. It was burning. always burning since <laughs> the world's been turning. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh, you know who did it? Uh, Billy, Billy Joel. Joel. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I want more 911 <laughs> movies. I feel like that hasn't been tapped. Well, yet. okay. So there's a Nicolas Cage one, and there was Flight 97. I thought that was good. Okay. Hey, you get this. No, get I this. never saw All right, that. One. That was so, good. That was on the plane. So in like 1969, Led Zeppelin had the Hindenburg disaster as an album cover. Yeah. So what, how that. many? The Hindenburg was like 1936, right? I say I was three at the time. Um. So 33 years after. So does that? Does 1936? that? 1936. The Hindenburg, wasn't it? Or is this sound right? Somewhere. The the Hindenburg, yeah, I guess right. Let's say thirty sure, thirty five years after. So in twenty thirty six, is there going to be nine eleven on a bunch of contemporary? Yes, album covers? yes. Rage Against the Machines. Uh, old man Zach De La Roca is going to have the the towers crumbling, uh, on his first album cover again with this new band. I guess I guess because he had he had the monk on fire and his shit. A more analogous event would be the Challenger, but well, the Challenger was al- it's almost thirty five years old. So. 
in like 2020 is there going to be a no what was the other one well, yeah. the one that just blew up uh, not, uh the columbia not the columbia <laughs> yeah the columbia went down that and w- there's footage there's audio of that have you ever heard the audio of them inside the cockpit of the uh the columbia i never heard once oh it's going down and they're going it's getting hot in here and they're all saying perfect Staying really professional, like, uh, okay, uh, yeah, the, uh, some so readings are up, blah, blah, blah. They're going back to, um, you know, Houston or whatever. And uh, it, and then it just fizzes out because it just burned out coming back in uh, through the atmosphere. People remember the Challenger more because there's that teacher on board. Uh, Sally Wright. Yeah. Sally yeah. Ride. Yeah. Whatever. What? <laughs> Sally Ride. That's who Ride? Yeah. Oh, that was close. Who's Wait, Sally no. Ride? No, yeah, Sally but... Ride was the first American woman in space. Okay, so, yeah. my, so the Challenger is like the, the Hindenburg disaster for the people of the 80s. Generation. The boomers like rusty. Yeah. Old, decrepit people like well, you. The, the Challenger is not like that. They didn't fly that spaceship into a building. No, I'm, no, I'm, <laughs> say, I'm, saying, I'm saying it's the, hit, it's the Hindenburg. <laughs> it's an accident. Hindenburg. Wouldn't that be funny? If the, uh, uh, no, oh, God. Would be funny. <laughs> oh, like the, cl- uh, like that guys, the most like terrorist, of high terrorist j- plot is they managed to get a job at NASA as an astronaut and oh, they're right, finally getting like into the spaceship. Terrorists have hijacked the SpaceX launch. Lost control. How far is Houston from Washington, D.C.? It's got to be like a thousand No, it comes up from Cape Canaveral. Oh, but they talk to Houston? Houston is the mission control, but it gets launched from Cape Canaveral. Yeah. Really? They do all the dirty yeah. work from Florida, and then they yeah they do like oh. the yeah, technical they, shit they, from they spew Texas. like the toxic chemicals. Well, how far is that from here? We should go. Cape Canaveral? Yeah, yeah we can go to Legoland and um, yeah, yeah, Kennedy they, they Space do, Center. They do space rockets like every week, right? It's we like, can just go watch one. It's like launch. due east of uh, Orlando because you guys are going to Disney. Yeah, you guys want to yeah. go down there. We should podcast like on the teacups right at Disney. 